How did you like the Parliament building, ladies and gentlemen? Very beautiful, right? And we have another beautiful building coming next, St. Stephen's Basilica, that's smaller but also as richly decorated and ornate with gold and marble, so we will still see a lot of, lot of gold in the next building as well. But now on the river bank we will see the shoe memorial again. We will because now we are back here, back back to the river bank. So if you have a look to the right there you will see the shoes. There are less people than yesterday, so maybe you can see the shoes a little bit better. Here they are on the right hand side. Yes, you can really see everyday people bringing the flowers here or they light candles at the evening here on the right. Yes, you see the shoe memorial. The 60 pairs of shoes. The movie Schindler's List, it's a famous one about Schindler who tried to save the life of, of Jewish people. Yes. So here in Hungary we also had very many people like Schindler. Um, there was a very famous Swedish uh, man, uh, he was the ambassador of Sweden here in Hungary in 1944-45. His name was Wallenberg, Raoul Wallenberg, and uh, he issued fake Swedish passports for Jewish families who could um, leave the country with the fake passports um, for a few months. After that, when it was not possible for them to leave with any kind of passports, then uh, Wallenberg, and he wasn't alone because also a lot of Swiss, a lot of people from Sweden, um, diplomats helped him, and they bought properties in the city, they bought houses, apartment buildings, and those were just like embassies, I mean, if it was bought by Sweden, then it was the property of Sweden, that was a neutral country World War II, just like Switzerland and Africa. So the German Hungarian Nazis were not allowed to go to those territories. So those became the so-called protected houses because they bought lots of buildings and the Jewish people could find shelter in those buildings for a while. But as I mentioned um, when we were in the parliament in 1940, the end of 1944 and then in 1945, it was different because um, here in Budapest they put up the walls of Jewish ghettos and they forced all the Jewish people go to those parts of the city. Those were small areas, you know, for that many people. Like when there were 70,000 people living in like 20 apartment buildings, 30, 40 people in a room, a lack of food and uh, epidemic. So it was a very cold winter, 1944, December 45, January. You can imagine the river flows over. So it was, a, it was a cold winter, no heating, so the Jewish ghetto was in the Jewish ghettos of Budapest. So we had 720,000 Jewish people before World War II. There, the main square.
Thank you. 